Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I'm sure if you've been looking online at any other churches or their live stream, you may see the pastor with an iPad wirelessly walking around with his notes, circling it and all this other stuff, and it shows up on the screen. So I had um, Pastor Allen at St. Paul's Church of God in Christ ask me uh, about this, and he showed me a piece of equipment that you can do to do that, but you know how we do, we try and do it with the stuff we got as free as possible. So this is what I wanna show you how to do that. So if we cut over here and I kinda of show you my overhead of what we got going on here, let's zoom out here first so you can actually see everything that I have on my desktop. I am going to be leveraging the mini PC. If you have, I mean, this mini PC that we've done many a times before, if you have a laptop or some other computer that is, I don't know, within the last four to five years old, not too old. Um, you don't need a lot of power with this, but we do need to have something. So this is a system that I have sitting around. Um, like I said, you probably got an old laptop um, or something like that. That is what I'm gonna use. The other thing that's important with this, I have two video output. So one is what you're seeing, well, what you're gonna be seeing soon. And then the other one is what I'm gonna connect to my video switcher. I am going to be using the ATEM right now, but this same concept will work if you're doing everything through NDI, vMix, OBS, um, the GoStream, any other video switcher. So don't think it's just the ATEM. You really just need a Windows PC. That's what I'm doing right now. Mac, honestly, you should already know how to do this. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer so you can actually see what exactly I'm doing with this. All right, so I'm here on Windows 11, and what we're gonna be using is a free app on the App Store, and this is going to be called Screen Mirroring. All right, so Air Screen, so this app is going to make your computer show up as if it is a um, kind of like an Apple TV or an AirPlay server so that your iPad can connect to it. There are other ways to do this with Chromecast, Google and stuff, but we're talking about an iPad and this is what we're doing. If you want me to do the other ones, let me know in the comments down below and we'll do a setup of that one as well too. But like I said, this app is completely free. Let's go ahead and get started, get it installed. It doesn't, not really a big program at all. Now the beauty of this is this computer is going to be connected to our network. I'm connected over an Ethernet cable. This is my iPad is going to be on the Wi-Fi and they're all on the same network. So that's how they're able to talk. You need that. All right, let's go ahead and open it. And then as you see, it just runs this. Now the reason I do this as a second screen is say you still want to use this computer for something. I like having a second screen so that it won't impact when I use this. So if you have one monitor, that can work. I like to have two so that way I can still log into this computer if I was using it for anything else. Say this might be a good system that you're using this just to monitor the comments or something like that on your live stream. And then on the second screen, like a presentation, this is running. So. With this, I like to open it up and we're gonna make this full screen, which gets rid of the borders and all this other fun stuff like that, all right? So now, let's cut back over here to my top-down view, all right? So we got that going right here. As you can see, we ain't got nothing connected here to the iPad. And what he normally uses, when I've seen pastors and other people use this, they're using Keynote. So if I open up my Keynote right now, and I had presentation from our e-missionary conference from this year. So I had this up and it looks like I need to charge my iPad. So first, let's go ahead and swipe down and let's punch in so you can actually see this a little bit better. So I am going to go to AirPlay and there it is, my mini PC. That's the same thing that shows up as the server name with that air screen mirroring app that we have running. So we're just gonna tap that. Give it a second, now we're connected. So now if I zoom out, boom, now we're seeing my screen here. So now let me move this over and full screen this so that you're actually seeing 
similar to what um, they would be using this if you were doing this for church. So that would be my extra screen. So now we are mirroring this full screen. So if I come here and say, let's go ahead and start our presentation. So now I have notes on here if I wanted to, no one else can see that, but they can see everything here. So we're going through my next slide. We're transitioning pretty slick, right? And say, oh, you know what? I want to highlight some stuff here. So let's get green here because it stands out. And can you hear this picture? You know, so now that's the same thing of what they're doing. So we just turned a readily available computer that you may have be sitting around. It just needs to have Windows 10 or 11. Go to the app store, download that app, let it run on your network. And your iPad needs to be on the Wi-Fi that's still on the same network. And you can easily now turn this into something that you can do like the super source. I've had a video to show how to do the super source, this exact same layout. So you can have your cut of your pastor walking here and then everybody online is like, hmm, that's that kickball. Can, can, can you hear that picture? You know, I can go ahead and highlight that. And it's like, this reminds me of elementary school or field day or whatever. Let's actually do that in a different color so you can actually see it. So that's field day. So I have all that stuff here and that's how simple it is to set this whole thing up. So I hope y'all like that. It's really simple. I'll put a link down below to where you can download the app, play around with it. I do have the HDMI out going into my ATEM. This is the same way if I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not set up to do this, but if you were using OBS, what all you would do is put the NDI scan converter so it will send your screen over the network to OBS or vMix or whatever, and you can do the exact same thing. But if you want me to do that, please leave it down below, and I'd love to set this up. Really simple. I think this would give you a lot of freedom because I've done this before where we had it tethered with cables and all this other stuff, but with this setup, and even if you need one of these mini PCs, you can get one for like $200 and it's so small, you can just have this mounted on the back of a monitor or in the shelf where your um, video switcher and everything is. And it's just a device that you can use for any type of way. Especially, think, imagine if you have guests coming over and they want to have that iPad instead of sending their presentation, now you just do a super source and then they can dictate how they want to run their presentation at any point in time. Really cool tool that you can put in place. And it really, if you had to spend any money, I'm talking about maybe $250 just to get like a mini Ryzen 5 that's gonna have a GPU and it's fast enough to run this. Make sure it's hardwired and that, there you go. So um, Pastor Allen, I hope you like that. And you never, never know, I might be doing a follow-up where I installed this if Pastor Allen really likes this. Um, it gives him what he's looking for. But anyway, link is down below to everything that you need to get this done. And I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.